the president's going to be on the road today in uh, Tennessee, and he's going to be talking publicly about why he decided to take sweeping executive action when it comes to immigration. He's going to say, I gave the Republicans a chance. They didn't act. Here's why I did what I did. Here's why I think it's good for the economy. Uh, back here in Washington, you have this conservative anger to the degree that some conservatives, a minority, but some conservatives say, you know, don't fund the government at all. Don't give the president any money to implement these policies. Uh, the president now publicly, I think, proves to me that he thinks politically he's got the upper hand here. Nashville's a really interesting place where he's doing this speech. It's, it's one that has one of the fastest growing immigrant populations in the country. I think there's some concern on Capitol Hill that this speech might sort of inflame tensions that are already there and it could lead to some problems passing uh, the Cromnibus. Right. <laughs> uh, but I, I think he's still trying to get the upper hand again, but he has this Republican Congress to deal with now. So it's hard to think that he's going to get a lot done in the next two years on this. But, but to Jackie's point, Olivia, is the president doing this deliberately? that he knows when he talks about this publicly, it stokes. It, he's, you can tell it's a deliberate White House strategy. They are trying to bait uh, this internal Republican civil war. They enjoy it when the Republicans are fighting amongst themselves. Yeah, I mean, doing do, do it deliberately, absolutely. You know, you don't, he's, he's making, keeping this on the agenda front and center. He could have let the Republicans keep talking about it, keep squabbling, trying to find a path to, to undo some of what he did. Instead, right. he's going to a place where the foreign-born population has doubled over the last 10 years. Um, he's going to a community center. He's going to be talking and taking questions about, about his policies. And, you know, to some degree, this reflects how much Washington, D.C. has already turned towards 2016 right. and the mm -hmm. political pressures that are going to be in play then, including political pressures over immigration. All right, we'll watch that play out. I think it'll play out globally in the 2016 election, but particularly in those Republican debates. It's uh, going to be really fun to watch, especially if certain candidates who favor almost what the president wants uh, get into the race on the Republican side.